China knew this was coming. This information was found on Gene News who posts Miles Kyo videos. China did massive drills since 2504-2019. They were prepared for what happened. This is the reason why the infection and death rates are so low. Nearly all of the videos in China were filmed by the police. This begs the question is this all just a drill? If people really are getting infected in Italy and Iran then this isn't a global fake drill as John Rappaport is saying but it's real. On the 25th of April, 2019, Wuhan, QB, Municipal Ebola Virus Emergency Drill. On the 25th of April, 2019, People's Government of Hubei Province conducted an emergency response drill for health-related crisis. Both the Health Commission of Hubei Province and the Health Command Office of the Wuhan Military Games claimed that the drill was prepared for the Military World Games which will be held, six months later, on the 18th of October, 2019. All the emergency rescue units from Hubei CDC, Center for Disease Control, Wuhan CDC, and Wuhan's Jinian Hospital, one hospital involved in the beginning of the coronavirus outbreak, participated in the drill. The above-mentioned centers are key units and departments responsible for the current Wuhan coronavirus disaster in Hubei province. There were about 300 personnel participated the drill. In this drill, there were six scenarios, including infected cases discovery and reporting, the transfer of the first diagnosed case, history analysis and pathogen detection, treatment, disinfection, close monitoring and outbreak assessment and management. There were about 35 sub-scenarios. The purpose of the drill was to enhance the capability of handling possible imported virus cases. To the 25th of June, 2019, Changsha, Hunan, Joint Military and the City Health Emergency Incident Drill. On the 25th of June, 2019, Military and the City Health Departments conducted a joint drill in Changsha, Hunan Province. The comprehensive drill included subjects like detection of virus, disinfection, outbreaks, and rescue etc. This drill was to enhance the overall commanding mechanisms and process of handling public health emergencies. The key points of the process to handle emergency incident are involving detection of virus, disinfection, outbreak and rescue and a joint drill of military and local, civilians. What does military and local mean? This means military and local work together. This is the same as what happened at Wuhan's lockdown. The guards who wore army camouflage uniforms patrolling the streets were not soldiers from military but civil militia. 3 the 25th of July, 2019, 31 province and Xinjiang, the National Drill for Public Safety and Health Emergency Incident. The National Drills for Public Safety and Health Emergency Incident was held on the 25th of July, 2019. This event was reported on multiple China national radio and various platforms under China Central Television. There were 31 provinces, urban areas, Xinjiang Production and Construction Corps, and National Health Commission participated in the event. This has been the first large-scale national drill for public safety and health emergency incident in China since the outbreak of SARS in 2013. There were 8,200 people participated in the drill. There was an iconic event that happened in Ningxia Yunchuan in 2019. Yu Xiuan, the director of the National Health Commission, announced the commencement of the drill. Well, the current head of the National Health Commission, these people who have been showing up every day on CCTV, for example, Gafu, as David mentioned previously. For the 23rd of August, 2019, China Youth Online published an article titled You Are Only One International Flight Away from the Infectious Pathogen. It was still months away from the Military World Games. Why did they publish this? Let's look at this, who has participated the drill. It was China Japan Friendship Hospital. Does the name sound familiar to you, my fellow warriors? Isn't this the one hospital conducting the clinical trial of Gilead's Remdesivir? Yes, it is at the China Japan Friendship Hospital. At the same time, Jin Kei Li, the WHO expert, praised that the CCP handled the infectious pathogen very well and allocated the resources very efficiently, etc. 
by the 18th of September 2019, Wuhan, Hebei, local police, the airport, and the customs jointly staged emergency incident response drill. Local police, the airport, and the customs jointly staged a passenger on the inbound aircraft who was unwell and whose vital signs were unstable. It was clinically diagnosed with so-called new coronavirus. So this drill was an incident response drill to handle a new coronavirus outbreak from an airplane. This is that much clear. During this exercise, Wuhan Municipal Police Bureau, the airport, and the transport agency etc. departments participated. 6 the 18th of September, 2019, Xinjiang, Dong, a land air joint medical emergency drill. In Xinjiang, a forefront station of the disasters, Hong Kong protest, a land air joint emergency drill of medical rescue was held on the 18th of September. This is a so-called civil drill that the civilian or militia will be responsible for the rescue and emergency incident response drills. We all know what happened in Hong Kong at that time, right? We must consider Hong Kong, the first gate to exterminate the CCP, all the time. 7 the 25th of September 2019 2019-9-27 Chongning B Sit One Health Emergency Training Course Sit One Health Emergency Training Course was held in Chongning District Ibin City Sit One More than 140 emergency response paramedics from 21 cities and 30 districts attended this training course do you notice that the CCP have been performing such exercises and trainings intensively across the country in September, 2019? 8 the 27th of September, 2019, Songjiwa, Jilin, Emergency Drill of Plague Prevention and Control, Beijing, Songjiwa, Changchun, Sipping. On the 27th of September, an Emergency Drill of Plague Prevention and Control was held in Songjiwa City, Jilin Province. 9 the 15th of October, 2019, Sigong City, Sichuan, five provinces and metropolitans, upstream of the Yangtze River, joint health emergency drill. This was only three days before the opening of the military world games. There were six national teams with a total of more than 500 people from five provinces and metropolitan cities of the upstream of the Yangtze River jointly organized a health emergency drill in Sichuan. 10 the 18th of October, 2019, Wuhan, Hebei, the 7th Military World Games. On the 18th of October, 2019, the Military World Games was held in Wuhan. This was a major event. At that time, CCTV reported it as a high-profile event. Wuhan also held the 7th Open House Day for military camps during the Military World Games. It was the warm-up event for the Military World Games. There were a large number of civilians there during the open house. You see, this was really a military-civilian integration. Visiting and drilling. Well played. One old news reported that during the Military World Games held in Wuhan from the 18th of October to the 27th of October, 2019, a total of five foreign athletes were sent to Wuhan Jinian Tan Hospital due to imported infectious diseases during the competition, and the hospital immediately started infection control. The emergency plan for the isolation and treatment of these five infected patients have effectively controlled the spread of the infectious disease. This was old news, however, a recent news release, titled Five Foreign Athletes Were Suspected with Viral Infection and Jinian Tan Hospital Responded. People thought this was another drill during the 7th Military World Games. However, the director of the Jinian Tan Hospital responded to avoid rumors on the 23rd of February, 2020. Isn't it interesting? On the 18th of October, 2019, Oshin, Dong, City Sebola Emergency Incident Drill, Chandi Hospital of Southern Medical University. At the same time that the military games were held in Wuhan, an emergency alarm was sounded in Foshan and the city's Ebola emergency incident drill was held in our hospital, Shandi Hospital of Southern Medical University. All of the units for epidemic prevention and control are here. Wasn't this a state action? 12 the 21st of October, 2019, Yunnan, 
the National Vehicle Borne Emergency Prevention and Control System and the tent-based emergency mobile epidemic prevention center were effectively integrated in UNAR. Lulit, Deputy Director of the Health Commission, Yunnan Province attended the drill. Lulin commanded that the National Vehicle Borne Emergency Prevention and Control System and the tent-based emergency mobile epidemic prevention center were effectively integrated in our province. 13 the 30th of October, 2019, Beijing, National Hygiene and Health Commission, all previous mobilization and exercises have to be checked and accepted. You must understand the logic of the CCP. When the CCP assigned tasks to you, when the training was almost done, the drill was ending, the CCP would expect to receive reports, results, or briefing from you. Also, the leaders may provide their opinions and instructions. The CCP must know about this all the way, from the beginning. 14 the 28th of December, 2019, Jiangxiu, Joint Public Health Emergencies Incident Drill at the Port, a cruise ship. The last but not the least, a drill on a cruise ship. Jiangxiu Customs held a joint drill of public health emergencies at the port on the 18th of December. David have discussed and thought by then the so-called patient zero from Wuhan has been spreading virus. Please take a look on what they were wearing and how they were assessing. They were also investigating those who had close contacts to the subject on a cruise ship. Everyone must pay attention here why did they need to conduct a drill on a cruise ship. Key points and questions of part one. But do you ever see these provinces work together in solidarity and have these provinces been so united? Why suddenly did all of them suddenly hold the emergency incident response drills and public health security exercise together? Be after his sorting and analysis of all the information, David found a shocking phenomenon. The more severe areas of the epidemic, such as Wuhan and Sichuan, the more concentrated joint drills conducted. Please see the map on first page. That is, the more drills took place, the worse the epidemic is now. They even planned drills at the airport and on a cruise ship. Don't they sound familiar? See with such a large-scale drill, mobilization, planning, management, what did this tell us? The entire series of activities were conducted and arranged by center of command of the CCP. In other words, all of these activities must be guided by the Red Header official documents. It's just common sense. Each province has its own production, development, and finance and often does its own things. Hey, this must be an official request from the head office and this means you have to follow the orders. All provinces and municipalities must implement it concretely. Their names they used may be slightly different but the purpose of these drills is the same. These drills were to mobilize people, schedule resources, military training exercises, as well as data collection. In summary, the drills have shown this is a nationwide action from center of command to local to mobilize all resources. The CCP has planned this for a long time. The outbreak of coronavirus is part of its long planned unrestricted warfare. B. International preparation, from WHO to event 201. 1. The WHO. This article pointed out why the WHO delayed the announcement of Wuhan's epidemic of pandemic. The article called it a 425 billion reason. In a simple term, this is the value of a bond. The WHO has been involved in the bond issued with the World Bank. The WHO has been infiltrated badly by the CCP through BGY, espionage, monetary bribery, or sensual sex seduction. Tidro also had to consider timing of the announcement if he announced too early and bad news can cause market fluctuations and economic losses. He also needs to advance the bond funds and deal with follow-up issues. The simple truth is that Tidro has his own interest to consider. To Event 201 What is Event 201? Event 201 was held by the Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security with the partnership of the World Economic Forum and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. This was a high-level pandemic exercise in New York City on the same day of the Military World Games in Wuhan on the 18th of October, 2019. What a coincidence! It was a conference that a simulated epidemic outbreak impacted 65 million people in the United States. 
the conference was actually for data analysis and sharing. In other words, the purpose of this conference was to establish a database with mathematical modeling for an assumptive scenario that a large scope of epidemics occurring in some cities. Is this a coincidence? The key interests of key interest from those participating experts, including those from the WHO, the world's health and epidemic prevention systems is the information and integrated data. The integrated data can facilitate capturing upgrade data, disease extent, severity and share the information across the borders, and provide information to the government for analyzing and decision making. The fund supporting the team of University of Johns Hopkins was from Bloomberg. The program had made a statement to disclose their modeling of the outbreak and spread in event 201 is completely nothing to do with the current Wuhan virus we, event 201, had nothing to do with this coronavirus and we are not judging this on the basis of the Wuhan outbreak and our data was not based on the Wuhan outbreak. Why are they so nervous about this? Let's look at some facts first before making judgment or assuming the drill launched by the Gates Foundation and Johns Hopkins University has anything directly to do with Wuhan biochemical crisis. After the outbreak in Wuhan, how much money did the Gates Foundation donate to the so-called frontline disaster areas? The Gates Foundation donated 80 million US dollars to the frontline and immediately promised 100 million dollars US dollars or 1 billion dollars US dollars for vaccines research and redevelopment and poverty alleviation in disaster areas. We about three or four days ago, Eleven personally wrote to Bill Gates to express his gratitude. Thanks to the Gates Foundation for supporting China's fight against coronavirus-induced pneumonia. See where were the data sources for event 201? Was this just a normal business activity? Why did the event 201 simulate a disaster of 65 million infected people? Because using this, they wanted to be able to share information with the CCP simultaneously. 3DXY Where did the COVID-19 data of China come from? This is the core. It comes from DXY and Johns Hopkins University's data sources mainly come from DXY. It corresponded to the DXY and Dr. DXY. Now we know how the CCP feeds overseas of its real-time COVID-19 epidemic situation. What is the function of DXY? The platform provides the upgrade map, refuting rumors, defensive protection, and real-time broadcasting the upgrade information. We all know by now fabricated data and information are the CCP's daily routine. Here is the CCP's database, the DXY. What's the underlying meaning when you see the DXY is linked to the database of Johns Hopkins University? We have to understand its meaning. This means the data of China's epidemic outbreak map from Johns Hopkins University website where Americans have been following daily, is fake. This is why the Wuhan Military World Games had to be carried out at the same day when Event 201, a partnership event between the Gates Foundation and Johns Hopkins University. This project is to build an integrated database and data modeling through data sharing and the compatibility. For Twitter and the WHO. The WHO is another main data provider about the outbreak. Let's see this message through Twitter. We monitor the outbreak data and share it with the CDCs all over the world, including Hong Kong and Taiwan. When you see the WHO and DXY, we know the CCP is the boss. Isn't this clear? The CCP uses data hackers to attack and frame you and now they share the same database. What does this mean? This means all America's outbreak data and those from the WHO. I have presented in one previous episode were fabricated. The worst thing is that they have all the outbreak data collected from all countries, technologies and all information. We all have experienced with Twitters. The Twitter accounts of our followers and fellow warriors have been blocked just because we spread the truth of the outbreak. Our HHS group's Twitter accounts have been blocked twice. Why? Isn't it just because we have spoken the truth of the outbreak? Isn't it just because we have tweeted or retweeted the truth to us Santa CCP lawmakers? That is how they make all the truth-telling information disappeared, blocked, or changed. Then they make the outbreak in the United States. Hello warriors, this is the sin of killing.
This is not like those happened in Hong Kong or back to Tiananmen using tanks. Through this database, the CCP confabricated the data on this American's website. They have been able to hack down the White House's website. We have seen the number of pledging people stuck and stopped at 100,000. Of course, the CCP can fabricate the data on this website. Why fabricate? This is the biochemical warfare. This is a biological weapon. As soon as the epidemic outbreak is out of control, the CCP wins the battle. Also, as long as the CDC cannot see the true situation and the Americans take it lightly, the CCP